Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss the problem from the code forces round 653, problem A, required remainder. So in this question you are given 3 integers x, y and n and you have to find out the maximum value of k such that k is between 0 and n. So you are given n, you have to find out a k such that k is between 0 to n and whenever you do a modulus of k with x, it will result in y. Okay, so you have to find out the maximum k. Now, you are given t test cases and you have to find this. So, I will take it down to the drawing board to make it more clear. Okay, so let's assume that you are given this test case in which it is given that n is up to 15 okay so you have to mod it with this number and the remainder should be 5 if you divide 15 by 10 then the mod is 5 only and thus the maximum number you can get is 15 only because if you do a modulus of 15 by 10 the answer is 5 you have to find out the maximum number between 0 to 15 such that the remainder is 5 so this is good the answer is just 15 but now look at this if you do a modulus of you have to find a number such that if you do a modulus of like that number with 5 then the answer should be equal to 0 and that number should be between 0 and 4 ok so now because we want the maximum number we always choose the maximum number what is what it is it is 4 so I will tell you now to how to approach this question so let's assume that we want or we said that our answer is equal to 4 but can we say that our answer is equal to 4 no because if we do a modulus sign of 4 by 5 it's equal to 4 but what our want is our want is that we want a modulus equal to 0 so what, how we can reach 0 so there can be two cases our our want is less than this value which we get so we get 4 now if we do the maximum number which we are given n if we do a modulus with this 5 the value which we get is 4 now our want can be equal to this if like we want that a modulus equal to 4 then the answer is just equal to 4 only else if our want is let's say is equal to 0 which is given in the question then if our want is less then what we can do here is we can decrease our n or like this which we have taken by these many steps such that if I make it equal to 0 I have subtracted this number then our value is equal to 0 so what we have done we have just subtracted the difference between what our want is and what we get because if we subtract this difference then we can reach a number what we want okay but now I'll take it down to the next example which will make it more clear so this is an example so, okay so what it tells that you are given you have to find out a number the maximum number which is between 0 and this number such that if you mod it with 17 then the answer is equal to 8 okay so now let's assume we assume that our answer number is equal to this only 5 4 3 2 1 if we mod it with 17 our answer is equal to 6 which means that now our answer is equal to 6 but we want our answer equal to 8 so how we can reach it first because we cannot go ahead of it if we go ahead of it we will add number from it if we if we can add number to it like let's assume we can add and make it equal to 3 now the mod will be equal to 8 but we cannot do it this because we cannot go above n okay so we have to subtract from it but if this is equal to 6 whenever we subtract it will always go down so it will go down to 0 if we subtract 6 from this then it will go down to 0 and the number if we subtract this 5 4 3 2 1 minus 6 the number will become equal to 5 4 3 1 5 if we do this then our modulus is equal to 0 okay but now if we go more down if we go more down if we go 17 steps more down then 
what what we can observe if we go more 17 steps down then the modulus is also again equal to 0 because at every 17 steps down our, our modulus will be equal to 0 but now because we have taken a gap of 17 steps we can again add this number because so let's see if we have a, a modulus equal to this this value if I add this 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 gives us a modulus if we do it with 17 it's give equal to 0 if I add 8 to it then the answer is equal to it but I cannot add 8 here because then it will exceed or overshoot n so what we will do we will subtract more 17 from it such that if I subtract more 17 from this number it will become equal to 298 and this is also equal to 0 but now if I add 8 to it then the answer is equal to it why because this this will turns out to be 0 and this the model is equal to it and the answer will be equal to this 34 uh, 54 306 so that's the answer I hope you understand the logic part so let's move on to the code part so that's the whole thing if the the there is a one want the word modulus we want and the modulus we have so if we have is greater than the want we can just subtract it but if the want is greater than what we have we have to first go down n steps and then come back to this point such that we can get a modulus of it so I'll take it down to the code now to make it more simpler make the input of x y and n first find out the modulus if we use n as a number if this number if this number which we have is greater than or equal to y which means that it is bigger so what our main thing is we can just subtract this from our n and we will reach a number else what we will do we will take this n subtract a a by subtracting a we have to first subtract the excess remainder which we are getting such that we reach 0 now we have reached 0 if we subtract one more x we can again reach 0 but a step down a, a level down then we add y which is the remainder we want and thus we will get to a remainder which we finally want and we just re return the answer n in both of the cases whichever it is I hope you understand the logic if you still have any doubts please mention down thank you for watching this video I'll see you in the next one keep coding bye